I think the bilateral relationship between Canberra and Washington is as strong as it has ever been and it is getting stronger on account of the common security challenges we face. However, for some time now, uh, the incarceration of Julian Assange was a thorn in the side of that relationship. It was just niggling away on the margins. That has now been fixed, um, so I now see reason to be very optimistic about the bilateral relationship. Um, uh, you know, that thorn has been pulled out. I'm eternally grateful to everyone who has made this possible uh, in this in this building, the, the group of friends uh, from across the political spectrum who came together on this issue. Uh, this, I think it's quite unique that it got people together from, from all sides to work towards uh, Julian's freedom and to keep it at the top of the agenda for years now. And the results uh, we see today, we see last night, uh, I think the whole world celebrated with us. Julian plans to swim in the ocean every day. He plans to sleep, sleep in a real bed. He plans to taste real food. Uh, and he plans to enjoy his freedom. Julian is the most principled man I, I know and he will always defend uh, human rights and um, speak out against injustice. And he can choose how he does that because he is a free man.